Hi, I'm Curtis Parody, and welcome to Now, the show about some of the most interesting news happening in the world right now. And like always, happy Thursday, everyone. There was no show yesterday as I was busy doing some other things, but hey, I'm back today, and really, that's all that matters. Starting off with our first interesting story of the day, well, it looks like Justin Bieber himself might be blasting off to the stars very soon. It was announced today by Sir Richard Branson and Bieber himself that he will be heading up on Virgin Galactic spaceship trips next year. The pop star reportedly paid the $250,000 ticket price for that seat, but hey, also because if you're going up into space, you probably want to bring along a friend at the same time. So he bought a ticket for his manager's scooter as well. Yes, so not only will Justin be very up in space for a short period of time, but also his manager will be up there too. So like, let's hope nothing goes wrong. Though I'm sure there are many people that are thinking, you know, if it does, like, hmm. How dare you, Bieber is amazing, is what I would say if I actually cared about him, but I don't. So yeah, the flights on Virgin Galactic will start next year, and well again, I'm still too poor to actually buy a ticket, along with a large majority of the rest of the Earth's population. <laughs> From space to technology now, some big news was kinda sort of announced today that BBM would be coming to iOS and Android, like, and it had a date, but then it was like considered not correct, so it's kinda like, what? T-Mobile today tweeted out that on the 27th of June, well, if you own an iPhone or an Android phone, you'd be able to download the new BBM app and then BBM chat with like your friends and stuff. That was then quickly disproven by BlackBerry themselves as they said like the date is incorrect and they have actually yet to announce like an official release date for the product. It was announced last month that BlackBerry would indeed be making the I'm not sure if it's still popular or not chat program that of course used to be like the big thing for Blackberries. It would now be coming to iOS and Android smartphones. BlackBerry also stated that the program would be coming out in the summer, which of course, you know, that's why I'm kind of thinking maybe T-Mobile actually said the right date but they weren't supposed to say anything. Cause you know, sometimes that happens. Overall, I don't really think people care though. Like really, like it's kind of like that old thing. Like BBM used to be great back in the day when the Blackberry was like, no shit. But now it's not, it's like, it's in competition with like Windows Phone for like third and fourth place. And then iOS and Android, they're like up there and they're all like, we're so cool. And then Blackberry's like, please, I wanna be up there with you. Personally for myself, I find the way that I talk to a large majority of the people that I like know is either through Facebook Messenger or by texting them. Like those two things usually work like 100% of the time. So like looking at it, even if I was wanting like a new chat program, BBM would not be that. I'd probably go for Google's Hangout products because they just look freaking cool. It brings together like a bunch of different chat protocols. It looks nice and hey, it works across like a bunch of different platforms. So like, what's not to like about that? So though it's an interesting move by BlackBerry to of course release the product for other devices, I don't think people care. <laughs> Jumping to international type news now, looks like North Korea is attempting to show the world just kinda what they're all about. And this time it's not through like weapons or the possible outbreak of like war. Cause like, you know, remember that was happening like a couple months ago, like whatever happened to that? Anyway, the North Korean state run TV channel now has its own Facebook page and they're live streaming newscasts online. Because you know, you totally wanna know what the weather's like in like Pyongyang. As you can see here, it's very sunny over top of Pyongyang today cause it's always sunny, no stormy clouds here. But if we move up north here, you can see well over top of the death camps, there is a 100% chance that you're never going to leave that location alive. Back to you, Sandy. I'm kidding, it won't be sunny over Pyongyang. The death camps though, yeah, those are real. So yes, if you wanna watch the North Korean only broadcast, well now you can, it's freaking awesome. Or it's not, cause I also really don't care. But hey, they broadcast at 3 a.m. Eastern time, six days a week. And if you go to their Facebook page, well, it says you have to actually like them to watch. And I know what you're thinking. Like I wanna see it, but I don't wanna like it, you know? Cause like that's just, I just don't wanna do that. If you're that kind of a person like myself, you're in luck. Because, well, you can just go straight to their Ustream page and watch it there. Because I don't think they realized, like, you can just go around to, like, like things. Also, if you missed the show, well, you're in luck because, well, they post video clips on their YouTube channel for the world to see, including South Korea. And, well, surprise, surprise, they're not too happy about that. South Korea is actually taken to blocking that, like, entire Facebook page, stating, the site will be classified as being off limits because of materials that conflict with the national interest. Makes sense, plus really, South Koreans, they aren't missing much. <laughs> Next, let's jump from North Korea to Russia now. Looks like Russian President Putin is calling it quits on his marriage. If you thought he was like gonna stop ruling his country, 
<laughs> You're crazy. Yes, Putin and his wife Ludmilla probably said that really wrong. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Anyway, they announced today that it's official. They are separating after getting married in 1983. A lot of rumors have been spreading about this topic for some time as the couple has been making very few public appearances together. And when they do, they're not really too happy about it. Putin's wife also hasn't been in the public eye for like many months. And today during an interview on the Russia 24 state channel, Putin made it official. And when his wife was asked about the divorce, she stated, I do not like publicity and the flights are complicated for me. We love our children, we are proud of them, and we see each other often. My hope is that well, the divorce goes over well because if it doesn't, I'm afraid of what might happen. And last, keeping with the international type news, but also throwing in an element of WTF, there's this thing. Yes, that's a man in Saudi Arabia just, you know, relaxing on the hood of a moving car, but also texting at the same time. The video is blowing up online. It's already amassed 1.5 million views. And really, when I watch it, all I see is truth to the fact that no matter where you are in the world, there are always stupid people. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Talking about talking now, are you even interested in BBM coming to iOS or Android? And what other chat programs do you use the most to communicate? Let me know in the comment section down below, or hey, you can always let me know on my Facebook page, through Twitter, or on Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. And hey, if you enjoyed today's episode of Now, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more great free Now content every single day of the week. So until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can of course check out more videos that I create by clicking on them below. Check out now for the latest news happening in the world right now, Paradise Gaming for some fun gameplay videos, or of course my personal vlog channel to see what I'm doing outside of my studio. Also, if you're interested in supporting the show and getting some new clothes for yourself, just like this shirt, you can pick up this one if you want, check out the store at thecurtisparitystore.ca. Bye, everyone.